streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Right now at 10, loved ones gather in Winona to remember the life of Madeline Kingsbury. Good evening and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Emily Haugen. A Winona mom was remembered by loved ones today at a memorial service. 27-year-old Madeline Kingsbury went missing in March after dropping off her kids at daycare. Investigators found her remains earlier this month. Adam Fravold, the father of Madeline's children, was arrested hours later. Now the community is honoring her memory. Kingsbury's memorial service was held at Winona State University this afternoon. It was open to the public. Madeline's loved ones spoke at the ceremony, honoring the woman she was and the life she lived. I would argue she's one of, if not the kindest and most well-intentioned persons that I had ever had the privilege of knowing. No one else comes to mind that would exceed her in, in, in this respect. She deserved, uh, she deserved the world and so much more. Madeline's siblings shared stories about Maddie. Her sister Megan read a passage from her journal where she listed the things she was grateful for. Among many things, Madeline listed the beauty of nature, her friends, and family. Megan reflected on the hurt she and Maddie's loved ones are feeling, but she also pointed to hope. Maddie saw beauty in all of us and wouldn't want us to remain broken. The path to healing will be long and twisted. The destination seemingly out of reach, each step is arduous. I encourage everyone to take comfort in the fact that Madeline is no longer alone and she's no longer suffering. Megan says Maddie cared deeply for others in every way, including her young children. She says that she and her loved ones will forever remain loud for Madeline. Yeah, we still have showers out there, but they're starting to wind down. Most areas are probably remaining dry for the evening hours, but we still got some rotating around that low that's really well to the east, but you can see mostly southern Wisconsin, eastern Wisconsin, a few showers just west of Rochester, but everything is beginning to dwindle down. But the winds are picking up too, but overall rainfall, not a lot over here, but especially east of Black River Falls up to northeastern Wisconsin caught quite a bit with a lot more showers this afternoon. So that was the big story. Right now the temperatures minus that red wing, which is still an a temperature air with the sensor up there. We're around 71 degrees, overall 60 degrees in most of the areas. The one thing you'll notice is the winds have picked up out of the northwest. They were 15 to 20. We had some gusts earlier even stronger. So it will be a breezy night, so it'll be cool with that northwest wind blowing overall. But look, current conditions 71 right now on the cross. You got that 10 miles visibility and that northwest wind at 15 miles per hour. So it is a little bit chilly going on. 68 up in Eau Claire. They also got that northwest wind too. Overall, dry conditions and we're expecting mainly dry conditions with maybe a few sprinkles we could, but I think overall we'll get temperatures down to the low 60s. Breezy conditions, you'll notice that as you wake up tomorrow morning. What we got ahead is we'll see if those winds stick around. The temp outlook for this week, which doesn't include 90, which is good, and then a maybe some more rain towards the end of the week, which doesn't look that great, but still we could use some more. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Greg. Well, tensions remain high in Russia following an attempted uprising by Vladimir Putin's own mercenaries. CBS News correspondent Christian Benavides reports. In the city of Rostov-on-Don in the south of Russia, locals cheered Wagner mercenaries after that attempted uprising, which challenged Vladimir Putin's army leaders. The paramilitary group was ordered back to their base camps in Ukraine after Belarus worked out a truce between Putin and Wagner's leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin. The rising storm of uh, Prigozhin uh, inside of Russia is something that uh, many people have seen over, over months now. Uh, direct challenges to the, leadership, to the military leadership, now questioning the very premises of the of the war. Prigozhin's mercenary group has fought fiercely for Russia in Ukraine, but a rift has been growing. Anger over a lack of supplies and claims that a Russian airstrike targeted a Wagner camp. Prigozhin says his private military was just 100 miles outside of Moscow when a deal was worked out with no bloodshed. 16 months ago, Russian forces were on uh, the doorstep of Kyiv in Ukraine thinking they'd take the city in a matter of days, thinking they would erase Ukraine from the map as an independent country. Now, over this weekend, uh, they've had to defend Moscow, Russia's mm -hmm. capital, against mercenaries of Putin's own making. On state TV, Putin said Prigozhin was a traitor and vowed punishment, but the deal worked out will keep Prigozhin in exile in Belarus, with criminal charges in Russia dropped. The entire ordeal has put the strength of Putin's power into question. Christian. 
Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said the incident showed Putin's weakness. He said, quote, the world saw the bosses of Russia do not control anything, unquote. Well, a heads up closer to home, if you're flying soon, you could be facing some delays. That's because airlines have until July 1st to update equipment. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says the updates are to avoid potential interference from 5G wireless signals. Aircrafts that haven't gone through the necessary equipment changes won't be cleared to land in certain weather conditions when visibility is low starting July 1st. That's when U.S. wireless companies plan to boost their 5G service to higher power levels. Well, it's a landmark that's years in the making. The International African American Museum opens up Tuesday in Charleston, South Carolina, at one of the country's most historically significant slave trading ports. That museum overlooks the sacred site of Gadsden's Wharf. That's where an estimated 45% of enslaved Africans entered America. The museum has exhibits and artifacts exploring how African Americans' labor and resistance shaped the nation and the world. The International African American Museum is an encyclopedic museum of African American history that traces our journey from origin stories on the continent of Africa all the way up to modern times. That museum is 23 years in the making and it was originally set to open in 2020. And reminder, part of Central High School will open up Monday after a fire forced the district to close the building. According to the La Crosse School District, building crews are working with Xcel Energy and the fire department to bring the Hackett edition back online. Summer school classes, sports, practices, lessons, and other activities will start up again on Monday. The district asks that everyone use the Travis Street doors. Coming up on News 8, two Wisconsin Fire Chiefs are celebrating a special retirement. What makes their years in service historic? Coming up later. But first, a local school's decision to ban a book, then put it back, has people on both sides upset. Now the GET community is asking what message that removal sends, and what is appropriate for middle schoolers. A closer look coming up after the break. This may look like an action-adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. You have already made a most noble sacrifice. You shouldn't have to continue doing so. We are here to support you. With pride in a way, it's never easy to ask for assistance, but rest assured, we are here to help. The VRAP team is standing by to help. So call 833-WISVRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. On behalf of the state of Wisconsin, thank you. This may look like an action-adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Earlier this month, the GET reconsideration of an instructional resource committee met and voted to ban the book Queer Ducks from its middle school library. That vote was rescinded after the committee determined its vote had been taken illegally, meaning the book is back on middle school shelves for now. But its permanent status is still in limbo. Tonight we'll show you a closer look at the book and introduce you to people on both sides of the debate. Like it or not, a book is judged by its cover. Queer Ducks by Elliot Schrafer is no exception. It's a um, kind of summary of the explosion of research within the scientific community in the last 30 years into animals that change sex over the course of their lives, the same-sex uh, behavior among animals. It's illustrated with comics that follow one message. In a way, Queer Ducks is just a way of saying, like, look, we've been way too narrow about what is natural within nature, and, you know, there's, there's many, many different ways to be in the world. A media review committee met and voted to pull the book off the shelves after complaints from the community that argued the book encouraged sexual grooming. Board member at the time, Paul Kinzer, says the committee voted it out 
for different reasons. They went straight to, is it age appropriate? Schrafer said that it is. I'm not interested in creating more LGBTQ plus people. That, a book can't even do that. Um, what I am interested in is making sure that young people realize the diversity of sexual expression in the animal world. But news of the committee's vote brought the community out in force. Adversity makes us stronger. Learning makes us wiser. Silence gets us nowhere. Including GET parent Carrie Marley. We need to support all of the kids in the schools. If we take away the resources of these books, the kids don't have those resources to know that they're normal. And she isn't alone. Because there are children hurting. At the board meeting, member Kinzer asked the board to recognize the LGBTQ community, who he says the committee hurt. If you hurt someone, your job is to make them feel better. And I felt like we were not doing they're that. Us. When that didn't happen, Kinzer resigned. That's all. This is about harming already oppressed people. And we have to do our best to never, ever do that. But some parents agree with the committee. I would think it would be more appropriate to have it in the high school instead of the middle school. And in including the LGBTQ community, how can we find books that would maybe be appropriate that wouldn't have the sexually explicit language? Mom Stacy Klein wants that choice to be up to the parents. I think it's really important that we separate that symbolism of supporting that you know any community and then the actual content of the book but for the author keeping the book on shelves means something but knowing it was there would mean there's someone that acknowledges that like this is this is a way to be that that like we can talk about and, and include even just a small show of support which including a book in a library is is, is really important from cover to cover in Trempolo County Emily Haugen News 8 Now and GET board president Larry Moore told me in an email that the original members of the committee that voted to remove the book will have to meet again to discuss the status. The school board itself has no role in the content complaint process. No date and time is scheduled, but Moore says the board hopes to figure out how many mistakes were made so they can do better moving forward. And coming up on News 8, this year's Miss Wisconsin teen has been crowned this weekend and she's from the Cooley region. Meet this year's winner after the break. It's definitely a different week. Instead of the 90s this week, we'll be dealing with 80s, even 70s, cooler conditions, maybe even more rain as we go through the end of the week. I'll break all that down after the break on Next Weather. Ashley Stars and Stripes sale is happening now. Pay 0% interest for 60 months with no minimum purchase. Don't miss instant savings on select items up to $1,000 off. And all veterans and active military will receive 10% off their purchase. Only at Ashley. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburger's cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to the this time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for Auto Show, where you can experience new Ford SUVs firsthand. Then head to your Northland Ford dealers for exclusive offers like 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. It's Showtime. Hurry in today. Now for a limited time only, get 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. Are you tired of looking out your dirty windows? Cooley Region Window Cleaning is here to help. Locally owned with honest and fair pricing and satisfaction is always guaranteed. More than dirty windows? If it's on your house, we can clean it. Call 769-7048 today for your free quote and get $100 off your service. Cooley Region Window Cleaning, we're doggone good. Call 769-7048 today or visit CooleyRegionWindowCleaning.com. 
Forget about scraping and painting, fretting and fixing, and enjoy the beauty and low maintenance of new siding, soffit, fascia, and gutters for your home. Seamless steel siding and vinyl siding in many colors. Enjoy outdoor living with a new deck and railing, with a pergola or patio cover for protection from rain or snow, or get protection from bugs and bad weather with a three-season porch. Serving your neighbors for over 30 years, superior products, superior installation, at prices lower than most others. Invest wisely. The Board Store Home Improvements, prompt free estimates. Ashley Stars and Stripe Sale is happening now. Pay 0% interest for 60 months with no minimum purchase. Don't miss instant savings on select items up to $1,000 off. And all veterans and active military will receive 10% off their purchase. Only at Ashley. The Board Store Home Improvements. Everyday low prices on bathroom remodels for seniors and families. Contact us today for a prompt free estimate. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. Well, we've got royalty in town. Trinity Horseman of Onalaska was crowned Miss Wisconsin's Teen 2023 on Friday. Miss Wisconsin representative said in a release, 17-year-old Trinity won over $2,000 in scholarships and a chance to compete for Miss America's Teen 2023. For the talent portion, she tap danced to The Devil Went Down to Georgia. And she was picked from a field of 19 contestants in Oshkosh. Now she'll spend her year of service championing the Children's Miracle Network. Congratulations. Well, that's pretty cool. Also, do you know Devil Went Down to Georgia? No. That song is extremely oh, fast. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was it's thinking of something else, yes. <laughs> it's incredibly fast, so I'm very impressed that she tap danced to it. So, that's good on good. her. I mean, I, I took tap dancing lessons when I was a little kid. <laughs> but I don't think I ever tap danced to that one. At least I didn't think so. But, <laughs> you know, the good thing is you didn't have to tap dance to all those showers out there today. So, <laughs> I think we got a lot of that actually out right now. There's a few dwindling showers out there, but most of the night will be dry. The one thing you'll notice is this week we're going to see more closer to average temperatures. The 90s are gone, but we do have more rain chances coming in, which we do could use some more rain. Not everyone saw a significant amount of rainfall with this past system, so definitely could use more. But the good news is, like I said, it's not going to be that hot of a week, which would be positive after we saw plenty of 90s for the last week and a half. For tonight, really, we're just going to have a few showers early, but cloud cover kind of in between. Temperatures will get down into the low, low to mid 60s, maybe some upper 50s out there. You'll have that stiff northwest wind, so it will feel a little cooler than what we've had recently. And for tomorrow, we're looking at upper 70s, maybe a pocket of 80s, but you'll have more cloud cover in the afternoon, maybe a shower too once again, but I think most of it will just be the winds and the cloud cover then we'll see any amount of shower activity. It's all responsible to that low that's been spinning overhead, but now it's shifting east. We're going to see more of the wraparound showers and cloud cover tomorrow, but that should be about the last day before it actually pushes further east. We get weak little high pressure in there, but there's a lot of activity out to the west, and that's our next chance of rain coming. It'll take some time to get here, but Tuesday should be actually fairly good, and then it gets a little bit more active as we go towards Wednesday into Thursday and Friday, and really it's responsible. It's two lows. That one in the southwest is going to come through, and then we're going to have another system dive from the north northwest southeastward towards the area so by the time we get to the middle of the uh, excuse me the middle of the week we're going to deal with this low pressure dealing right overhead and that's going to keep the unsettled weather not all day rain but definitely have a chance of rain overall for if you look at the amounts of rainfall that we're going to expect to see with this next system maybe another quarter or half inch the most of it looks to be further south and maybe further north right now but overall we, everyone should see something but once again it won't be an all-day rain so it won't really dampen plans too much for most of the rest of the week. For tonight, there's your cloud cover. It'll kind of really increase overall night. We'll get back down to the low 60s, like mentioned. Tomorrow, more sunshine, especially as you go further west. That'll be probably where the warmer temperatures are. Further east, more cloud cover in the afternoon. A shower here or there, but most of the areas will remain dry. Temperatures getting up, but the winds will be still on the northwest. We'll have more clearing skies going into your Tuesday morning. That should allow temperatures probably to get back down into the upper 50s, so it'll be a little bit of cooler night. But that sets the stage up for a really pleasant uh, Tuesday with plenty of sunshine, mid to upper 70s, probably some pockets of 80s as we get further in the afternoon. So that's probably going to be one of the better days of the week. And even as we go into Wednesday, it won't be bad either. Smoke, we might see that come back with the north winds aloft too. So something we'll have to keep an eye on. It's kind of depicting more of that smoke coming down from Canada, wrapping around that low. So we'll have to see if we get more hazy conditions this week that we experience really for a lot of chunk of the summertime. So overall, the 10-day, 8-day forecast, I keep seeing 10-day, I meant 8-day. We're seeing uh, Tuesday pretty good, and then we have showers coming in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Those chances are pretty slim right now. Overall, like I said, the temperatures look good, mild, maybe heat up next week. But for right now, 
temperatures are fairly nice this week. It's nice seeing 80s instead of 90s this week. Yeah, I think so. That's good. Unfortunately, there is some trend towards 4th of July. It might get a little hotter. We'll see if that well. pans out. But for right now, this week, just enjoy the 80s. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Greg. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's time to announce the chosen picturing our community photo for the week. This week's winner is Clint Wood of Toma with Spring Sunset. Every week we pick a photo to be shared in a gallery on our website at news8000.com and socially on our News 8 Now Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram. If you'd like to participate, just head to news8000.com, click on Submit Photos and Videos under the Home tab, and then click on Picturing Our Community and enter your photo. A new winner will be chosen every Friday, announced Sunday night, and then showcased online Monday morning. Coming up in sports, the Brewers were battling for a series win, and we have a local legend throw out the first pitch of the Summer Classic Championship game. Kate will tell you who it was after the break. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Whether you need routine care or specialty care, Mayo Clinic Health System offers the best options for care where and when you and your family needs it. Hypey Hot Deals are back. Six-pack Pepsi products, $2.49 each when you buy four. Whole seedless watermelon, $3.88 each. Lay's Kettle Cooked or Rolled Gold, $1.77 each when you buy three. Get the hottest deals all week long at hy -Vee. Tired of mealtime, meh? Give your appetite a vacation at Taco John's. A trip to Crispy Shrimp Taco Paradise with freshly made mango salsa does wonders. Ooh, I think I'm getting a tan. Three for six mango shrimp street tacos. Summertime only at Taco John's. Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. You have already made a most noble sacrifice. You shouldn't have to continue doing so. We are here to support you. With pride in the way, it's never easy to ask for assistance, but rest assured, we are here to help. The VRAP team is standing by to help. So call 833-WISVRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. On behalf of the state of Wisconsin, thank you. If money talked, it would tell you about the premium ingredients on Taco John's Valuous menu starting at one, two, or three bucks. Hand-cut sirloin steak, crispy fried chicken, and fresh pico. And if your appetite talked, it would say cha-ching. The Valuous menu only at Taco John's. Hy-Vee Hot Deals are back. Ground beef, $2.98 for a one pound roll. Special recipe brats, eight for $12 when you buy eight, plus a 16 cent fuel saver. And Bush's baked beans, $1.68. Get the hottest deals all week long at hy -Vee. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Kate Overton. Well, it was a great day for baseball, and we've got a lot of it. We'll start over in Alaska as the Holman Features were hosting their first annual Summer Classic Amateur Baseball Tournament. Holman was into the championship game today as they were taking on the Viroqua Sox. We even had an area legend, Chuck Hockenberry, throughout the first pitch. He was a big leaguer back in 1975 for the California Angels, and he still got it. Gavin Glitzer on the mound for the Sox and he was dealing early. He gets the UWL power hitter Anthony Vivian to strike out here to end the first inning. And then in the next inning, he gets Dylan Westcott swinging for his third strikeout of the second. But we need some runs to win games. And with runner on, Andrew Weedwick lines one out to center field for a base knock and the ball gets bobbled around. And that means Evan Hubach will come in to score. That gives the Sox the lead. They would go on to win it seven to six. And I was trying to get us some highlights from the Loggers game, but a little change of plans. The Loggers were hosting the Border Cats down at Copeland Park. Loggers were down late in this one, but a two-run eighth inning gave lacrosse the lead in the 5-4 win. The Loggers on the road in Waterloo tomorrow. All right, the Brewers road trip had a bit of a rough patch in yesterday's loss to the Guardians, but with the Reds winning streak coming to an end, the Brewers entered today still a game and a half back and had a chance to win their series in Cleveland. To the pros, Corbin Burns on the mound with a fresh haircut, but makes a mistake here. Leaves one over the plate for Josh Naylor. He's going to take Burns deep. A solo shot, that gives the Guardians the lead. But the Brewers would answer. Christian Yelich continues his hot month of June. He finds the gap in center field.
Joey Weimer will score from first, and this one is all even at one. Next batter, and Owen Miller gets a good chunk of this one. He sends it deep to right. That's off the wall. Yelich will come in to score as Milwaukee takes the lead. Now four to three in the sixth, and Burns is going to give up the lead. A bloop single into left field. This game is all tied up. We'd go to extra innings in the 10th. It's Miller again, crushes this to left field this time. That's off the wall again. Joey Weimer rounds third. He's going to come in to score. The Brewers take the lead as they would close this one out and get the win five to four. That's a series win, and Milwaukee is now 30 and four when they score five or more runs. And across the pond for MLB's London series, Cubs and Cardinals giving the fans something to cheer for. First inning, Cubs already with one run across. And Trey Mancini wants some more. He hits one deep to center field. That's off the wall. Two runners will score as Mancini is in with an RBI double. But the Cardinals would come back to tie it. And then in the fourth, Paul Goldschmidt is going to give St. Louis the lead. He singles into right field. One run scores. St. Louis is out in front as they would go on to win 7-5. to five. The Twins going for win number 40 on the year in a series win against the Tigers. Scoreless in the third, but Donovan Solano is going to put a change to that. He hits one high and deep to left. That clears the fence for a two-run home run. Minnesota takes the lead. The Tigers would actually tie this one up, and then with a man on second, Kerry Carpenter winds one to right. Zach McKinstry will score. Just like that, Detroit takes the lead. Twins not out of it yet. Two men on for Willie Castro. Grounds out to third. But the throw who goes wide, Royce Lewis will come in to score. We're all tied up. This one's also going to extra innings. First batter in the 10th, and Royce Lewis gets one past the glove of the third baseman. Carlos Correa rounds third. He's looking to score the throw home in time, but the catcher can't field it cleanly. Minnesota takes the lead. They would add on a few more as they would go on to win it. Six to three in extra innings, a much needed win, and they are now at 40 wins on the year. And real quick in the NBA, Timberwolves backup center Naz Reed is coming back to Minnesota. Reed was set to become a free agent beginning next week, but instead Minnesota is signing him to a three-year, $42 million deal. The former undrafted one-and-done player out of LSU has developed into a key bench guy before he went down with an injury that kept him out the last few weeks of the season. After the All-Star break, Reed scored 242 points in 312 minutes of playing time. Only the MVP, Joel Embiid, had more points per minute over that span. That's all for sports. We'll be right back. At Marine Credit Union, we have great rates and an even better mission. With our new certificate and money market rates, you can grow your money and grow your community. Call or visit MarineCU.com to find a branch near you. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for Auto Show, where you can experience new Ford SUVs firsthand. Then head to your Northland Ford dealers for exclusive offers like 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. It's showtime. Hurry in today. Now for a limited time only, get 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. Closeouts and clearances, deals and sales, pickup or delivery. It's summertime at Black River Furniture Outlet. Shop new pieces from Best Home Furnishings and Best Craft with fully customizable fabric choices. Save on sectionals and recliners from Ashley or Catnapper. Buy accessories and occasional pieces like lamps, hanging art, and the area's largest selection of rugs. Outfit your deck or patio with Ashley Outdoor Furniture or our Gliding Red Cedar Collection. Try out Hybrid, Gel, and all foam mattresses on an adjustable base today. Family and veteran owned, Black River Furniture Outlet, Black River Falls. Hi, have you seen that realtor with all those billboards? Hold my beer. Get local, award-winning injury lawyers. Get Nicolay. Celebrate the 4th of July with Jollivet Family Farms. Appetizers, deviled eggs, homemade salads, taco dip, pico and salsa, ham roll-ups, charcoal, and firewood. Homegrown goodness with our large selection of fresh fruits and vegetables. Your party isn't complete without something from our bakery. Pies, bars, cookies, and pretzel delights. Don't forget your favorite beverage, craft beer, and Door County wine. 
all at Jolivet Family Farms, Highway 16, West Salem. At Marine Credit Union, we have great rates and an even better mission. Not only will you earn a higher return on your money, you're also helping our community. We provide loans to people who can't get them elsewhere and help families on the path to home ownership. Visit MarineCU.com to find a branch near you. The Milwaukee Fire Department honored a historic pair of assistant fire chiefs on Friday. They're retiring after decades of service. Their retirement and service to the community is a special kind of historic. Here's more from Milwaukee. This couple is truly historic. Sharon Purifoy Smoots is the first black woman in the entire state of Wisconsin to rise to the rank of assistant chief. And together, this couple is the highest ranking married couple in U.S. fire history. On Friday, they were honored for their contributions. I've learned a lot. I'm going to take a lot with me. Thank you for all of the support. Everything you do in your life is really meant to help other people. More than 100 firefighters, family members, and friends celebrated a pair of assistant fire chiefs who blazed trails and created change. There were a lot of laughs. See, y'all rest me to this day. Yeah, but I'm in charge. And a lot of gifts. <laughs> Proclamations. We are fortunate that they graced our city with their expertise, their knowledge, and their compassion. And honors. You do deserve every bit of accolade, and you deserve the, the crowd of people that have assembled here today. Dr. Dwayne Smoots joined MFD in 1987. Sharon Purifoy Smoots joined in 2003. Chief Aaron Lipsky said they both overcame racial and gender bias to rise to the highest levels of the department. I've watched them do this with poise and with grace. Replacing them will be difficult as the department continues to strive for more diversity. Right now, MFD's remaining assistant chief is black, but Lipsky said there are few female captains and no women in leadership roles at the battalion chief level or above. But we don't have uh, anywhere near a fully representative fire department. We're just not there yet. And both assistant chiefs had already postponed retirement to help the Milwaukee Fire Department through transition periods. Now they say the time is right to retire to a new home in North Carolina. We'll be right back. This may look like an action adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. You have already made a most noble sacrifice. You shouldn't have to continue doing so, we are here to support you. With pride in the way, it's never easy to ask for assistance, but rest assured, we are here to help. The VRAP team is standing by to help. So call 833-WISVRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. On behalf of the state of Wisconsin, thank you. Are you tired of looking out your dirty windows? Cooley Region Window Cleaning is here to help. Locally owned with honest and fair pricing and satisfaction is always guaranteed. More than dirty windows? If it's on your house, we can clean it. Call 769-7048 today for your free quote and get $100 off your service. Cooley Region Window Cleaning, we're doggone good. Call 769-7048 today or visit CooleyRegionWindowCleaning.com. What is a hero? Not the kind from comic books and movies saving the day. We're talking about everyday heroes. Those with a special kind of courage or ability. Those saving the day, one person at a time. The Board Store Home Improvements and News 8 Now want to find those heroes and thank them for bettering our community. Go to news8000.com, click on Features, then Hometown Heroes to nominate someone you feel is truly a hometown hero. It may look like an action adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. 
Get 0% financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. We'll have a few showers, but otherwise pretty cloudy, breezy overnight, low of 63. Tomorrow, a few showers, but I think most areas stay dry, upper 70s, still breezy of the northwest wind, but it should be fairly nice. And then the eight day, we have some rain chances coming back in, but no 90s. That's the positive. No 90s. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, I have two things I want to talk about. Happy birthday to my dad, Darren. Shout out. Happy birthday. And, and also, the Taylor Swift concert was uh, awesome. If anyone was oh, wondering. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Thank you for watching Newsday. We hope you'll join us again tomorrow.